Hey guys, it's Tash and today I'm going to show you how I dip dye my hair. What you will need is some gloves, some hair bands, and a few strips of foil to use afterwards. Then of course you will need your hair dye, whichever colour you want. I start off by parting my hair into two halves. Then taking the two hair bands, I tie each side up to the length that I want the colour to come up to. Make sure to adjust the hair band to the correct length and also make sure that both hair bands are level with each other as you don't want random off-sided hair. <laughs> then I just kind of pull a few bits out just to make it a bit more blended rather than just straight across a different colour. So, inside of the box, of course, you have the instructions. Then I have the gloves, which I am using the gloves from my Faria hair dye because they're much better. And then here's the instructions. Then you get the two packets of conditioner for when you, after you've done your hair. And of course, the colour. So then just simply start squeezing out the colour and put it on your hair. Simple as that. Make sure you rub it in and make sure that you get every single part of your hair covered. You don't want any random patchy bits where you've missed it. Um, I make sure to pull all the bits of hair out and try to get underneath. As you can see here, when I pull my hair apart, you can see a lot of orange because you need to make sure you get in every single part and just before you decide to finish, make sure it is completely covered in colour. Then, when I'm done, I simply fold up my hair and put foil over it, as they do in the hairdressers. I wouldn't have done this, but on the instructions it tells you to use foil strips, so I thought I'd better go by the instructions. And the time for this hair dye is 30 minutes. Just go by whatever it tells you, and sometimes it might be shorter time for lighter hair and longer time for darker hair, or a longer time for a more vibrant colour. Then simply repeat. So here I am like two hours later with the finished look. Here's my pink. I think it looks more pink than the last one I did because I did um, this one last time and then I did this one. And of course you can see this one's kind of ready and it did come out kind of red and everyone was saying, oh I like the red and I'm like, it's pink. I was worried because it looked red in the shower just now when I was washing it out. It's been two hours since you last saw me. So here is the finished look. Of course, it's all like blended rather than being all straight. And it, it does help that I have curly hair as well to make that. But yeah, and I think it does look noticeably more pink. It's kind of a lot very red at the top because I am dyed it orange down to like here. And so of course this was dyed over faded red and this was dyed over just dyed orange. Yeah, there you go. Does it look pink? I can't really see the screen very well. It does kind of look red, doesn't it? I'll see you in my next video. Then, um, make sure to subscribe for um, updates on my videos. I upload fashion videos and hair videos, and I upload every Tuesday and Friday. So subscribe for updates, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.